Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Chelsea Jones. We begin with an update we brought you last night following an arrest warrant being issued for Monroe police officer in response to a complaint from a man alleging officers beat him during an arrest. Tonight, the victim's lawyers tell NBC 10's Maya Hudgens the press release the city of Monroe and the Monroe Police Department put out is a start, but it's not enough. They thought I was a nobody. I was nothing. Friday, a response from the Monroe Police Department and the city of Monroe involving the alleged beating of Timothy Williams. We do not want it to be swept under the rug at this point. We do not want a mere slap on the wrist just because these were officers who committed this crime. In this statement, officials say they are conducting a criminal investigation based on a review of the body cam footage. So far, five Monroe police officers were placed on administrative leave and an arrest warrant was put out for one of the arresting officers. Though this is a step in the right direction, lead counsel Denicia Banks-Miley says more needs to be done. All we know is that there was an arrest warrant issued. There was not an arrest. We also know that some of the officers were placed on administrative leave. That is not enough. And questions still remain. This council wants to know why Williams was placed in isolation in the rubber room for hours, once booked at the Washita Correctional Center. We're demanding answers for that. We're demanding to know why some of his medicines were withheld from him, why he was unable to make the initial phone call. Mayor Friday Ellis released this statement saying they're taking this incident very seriously and those who break the law will be held accountable. But William's lawyers worry the officers on administrative leave might get off the hook. A lot of times officers are able to appeal their cases to the Civil Service Board and they're reinstated and they're not held accountable for their actions. And so that's another reason that we've got to keep this case in the public eye. They are asking for a clearer timeline of when the body cam footage will be released. They believe it will prove William's innocence and will show what really happened. No one is above the law. And that's the whole reason that body cam footage is there, is so that it is what it is. In Monroe, Maya Hudgens, NBC 10, your local news leader. Williams Council says the public is entitled to see that body cam footage. They're also asking for the officers who didn't help or report what happened to be held accountable as well. This investigation is ongoing and we will keep you updated as the details develop.